The glider challenge this tour had a lot of cute little surprises, so let's do that one first. I'm using tilt controls here, which I recommend, so I always just aim upwards as if I were flying a paper airplane. You might want to aim a little down here to get in the ferry. And here we are! I love all the little Yoshis and Shy Guys sitting in here. I thought that was a super cute easter egg. Next, let's try Combo Mania. It's a bit harder, but I actually got a non-stop combo this time, so it should be fun to watch. The main trick I recommend for these is hold on to your speed boost as long as possible until you absolutely need them. Taking coins and using drifts to fill up the spaces in between until you need your speed boost can be a really effective way of maintaining your combo. Alright, next let's head over to our ring race. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just go through as many rings as you can. The only recommendation I have for this is tilt controls, otherwise known as gyro handling. This can help you have a lot better control when it comes to steering as soon as you get the hang of it. Let's head over to the Avoid the Obstacles challenge next. I feel like this challenge is kind of a throwback to the balloon battles in the older Mario Kart games. Sometimes I feel like this challenge is a little silly because you can honestly go into the slow sand to avoid a lot of the hard obstacles with no penalties. Next on the list is Reverse Race. It's a little bit harder, but there are some distinct advantages. One thing you can do to help yourself out is try to pick a good combo. You obviously want the driver with as many items as possible, but more importantly, you want a cart that has good acceleration. For example, the Super Blooper. It doesn't matter if it's bottom tier because points don't matter in this challenge.
Let's do our time trial next. I do have a few tips for time trials in Mario Kart Tour. The first tip I would say is try to use your mushroom in an effective place, so maybe use it to cut a corner like I'm doing here. That way you can shave a few seconds of your time off. Another tip I have just for this game in general is try to take the inside of turns when you have a chance. Try to take them pretty sharp because that's faster. Also here you can see I'm taking a shortcut. And now we have arrived at our last, and in my opinion our hardest challenge, our race against Mega Bowser. There are a few things you can do to help yourself. Firstly, I recommend picking a driver with a good, strong item plus. Koopa's shells in particular are really protective. And also pick a cart with good acceleration, just like we did for our reverse race. That can be helpful when you're being impounded by a lot of items at once like we are on this challenge. That concludes this video. Thanks so much for watching and please let me know in the comments if you liked this video or if you want to see more like it. And make sure to stay tuned for my project coming out next week. See you then!